What is going on guys? This is Knasty3890 here. Welcome back to another episode of the Toronto Blue Jays franchise. I believe this is <coughs> excuse me, episode 36. We're going the offseason 2029 to 2030. We're flying through this. We have won six straight World Series. Incredible. One of the best franchises we've ever had. But we're get I mean, we have some really good players, but we are getting our money's getting tight, as you can see. 176 million, and we're like a little over our budget. Archie Bradley's a free agent. He might retire. I don't think he'll retire, but he is 36. Other than that, I don't think we have many big free agents. Uh, Nito is not a free agent. He's up for arbitration. So he might get more expensive. I don't know. We got some expensive guys. The year after next, as you can see, next year. So this past year, we just finished. We Our team payroll is at $176 million. Next year is $161 million. The year after that, it's $46 million. Everyone's a free agent. Guerrero, Bruno, Brent, Brennan's not, Ruiz, Delgadio, Burkett, Borbin, uh, Silva, Hashimoto, who will get expensed. So, like, it's, we're going to have some, it's going to be tough. Let's get in the offseason and stop talking about it. <coughs> Excuse me, and see, no one on our team retired, so that's big. Um, Let's see. Any big names? Uh, Nico Goodrum. Did he play his whole career? No, he didn't play his whole career with the Tigers. He just retired on him. Um, Brian Flynn's a reliever. Keon Kila. 56 overall. <laughs> um, any big time play? Alex Bregman at 36. Look how bad he got at 36. Like, that's ridiculous. Um, he finished with 1,593 career hits, 256 home runs, a 281 career average, OPS of 848. His career wins above replacement was 50.6. He's not going to be a Hall of Famer. Um, that's kind of they just retire. I mean, they uh, become bad so fast. Joe Jimenez, who's in our Detroit franchise, retired. Any other big the big names? Buck Farmer. There's a big name. Um, most of the big names I'm imagining are Altuve. That they're going to be free agents. He didn't play for the last four years. Since he didn't play, but he's officially retiring now in, like, real life, <laughs> he would be eligible for the Hall of Fame next year. <laughs> um, career 308 hitter. 76 war. He should be a Hall of Famer. Aaron Otto didn't play this past year. 469 home runs. He's a Hall of Famer. Mookie Betts. 350 career home runs. 2,300 career hits with his great defense. He should be a Hall of F There's three Hall of Famers right there. Wilson Contreras retired. He's not going to be a Hall of Famer, but I think there's at least three. Holy free agent class. Aaron Otto, Betts, and Altuve, Freddie Freeman, and George Springer. That is a great Hall of Fame class. One of the best. No, like, greatest players of all time type of players in this, but, like, just really good players. So the only... We got two... Oh, they have player options. Oh, crap. Um, Archie Bradley, I definitely want to keep. 5.9 million for a year. Yeah, we'll just go year to year with him. Bruno and Vlad. Oh, boy. We might lose one or both. Okay, Bruno's staying. Okay, they're both staying. Whew. One more year with him. Archie signed. So, that's good. Let's take a look at arbitration. Only two. Nito and Taylor, who's a reliever who... 93 overall is pretty damn good. He went 6.4 for... Three years? He'll be 20. Yeah, I'll do that. He's not the closer. He's bullp. Um, I'll put closer because he's not a closer yet. He might be a closer by the time year two on that deal. Uh, once Or if Archie Bradley just starts really struggling. Nito, I definitely want to keep. But I, I don't know how expensive he's going to be. $4.1 million for two years. As you see, last year he hit 297, 24 home runs. The year before they hit 291, 27 home runs. On um, base right around 375. Does play average to below average defense. Do we have anyone who is like a replacement for him? No. We could move Silva to first. And like Whaling can play second. Or Stoddard. Gonzalez I don't think is ready. At any third baseman. That could play. No. Monroe's not ready. Lockwood. He's probably not... I don't even know what we're going to do at short. We'll have to figure that out. Anyone from the outfield who could play first? 
I'm just exercising our options. Willie Feliz can play short. Eh, interesting. Now, the thing is, he has a terrible arm. An elite fielder with a terrible arm, but I might put him... He's a 76 overall. Let's put him at... What is his potential, by the way? It's probably 90, yeah. Let's put him at short. And then his secondary will be just the outfield. So he was a 76. He now becomes a 78. Who I like him more than Lockwood. So maybe we'll move on from... Now, Lockwood is like the same durability fielding. Feliz, not as good as durability, but the same feeling. 98 speed is legit. So I think he is going to be our shortstop next year. I'm just going to add him to the 40 man in the majors. And we can use Lockwood maybe to go trade for a young first baseman. Unless we have someone else who could play first. Garlabo, no. Gallegos cannot play first. Look at, oh, it's looking at the wrong thing. Uh, Ponce can't play first. Otsuko can't. No, okay, so. I'll offer him a deal, but for the two years at 4.1, I might move him. Because, like, our money is so tight. <laughs> so let's just get him. And now let's take a look at our, um, we have some 40 men we got to take care of. But let's do tender contracts first. Nothing crazy. I don't, he's not a close. This guy won't be a closer Simmons, but he will be a reliever. Mascara. Um, I'll sign him to a deal. He might be a, a trade chip because I think last year he didn't, I'm not even making the team. He's 31, 87 overall, but we have so many relievers. I don't know. We, we might just trade a bunch. I probably will do that. Ramirez has had two years of service time, had a really good year. I do want to give him a chance to play. Uh, he's not an ace, though. God, our money is so tight. We're definitely going to have to cost cut. Um, I'm going to go sign the rest of these guys. You don't need to see that. And then let's move forward with the uh, offseason. So those contracts are offered. So now let's just make sure our 40 man's all set. As you can see, we have a lot, three A's and a couple B's there. And I was thinking, I kind of, this is going to be a very busy offseason. We have a lot of pitchers who are just like really good. And you know what? I kind of want to just, I'm not sure if clear house is right on some starters, but kind of save some money there because our money is so tight now the year after next we'll have some money but i don't know if we're going to be able, who we're going to be able to keep and then also i also don't know kind of how quick is bruno vlad brennan all going to decline like that's a that's a serious concern so um i kind of want to um hedge our bets if we can so i am going to um i'm not gonna put this guy in 40 man he's 30 so, Ka is definitely a guy I want to keep. Oops, I didn't add him. Oh, we have a full 40. Ah, oh, crap. Um, crap. So, we have to trade. Let's do some trades now. So, could I go with Ka every day at catcher? No. So, I think keeping Ruiz for one more year, there's no harm in that. But let's look at starters. So, Castilla, I, I think he is like the ace. For sure. Hashimoto has... He's 2 million, so I don't think it would be much to trade him. Lim's 1.3. So, Burkett is the expensive guy. He's been really hit or miss during, like, the playoffs. As you can see, he's not a bad pitcher. His career area is 3.59, but he's 5 million. That's a little pricey for... Like, I... We are so tight on money. So, I want to, um... Unfortunately, there's, like, no one signed. Let's take a look at some third... Because we don't have a... Well, we have him at third. We have our shortstop of the future. Um, I'm, I'm going to get the 40... I guess we have to... Let's go to the 40 man. Let's just release some people off it. Hmm. Move from 40 man. Help pass the waivers. I should be fine on that. Move from 40 man. We might lose some guys, but I mean, when you have a stacked forty-man roster, this is kind of a—it's a good problem. All right, so that should clear up some space. Now let's go add Ka to the forty-man, so we don't lose him in the Rule Five draft. Benitez is not eligible. He's really close to be—I don't know who's going to be our catcher of the future. Um, I don't think those guys—if they are—I don't care if they're eligible for the Rule Five draft. We don't have to worry about that. This would be the only guy I'm worried about. No. Katamar is eligible for the Rule 5 draft. I do want to keep him. 
don't care about that. Saint Odd. He's an interesting player. Great fielder. If the power develops, solid speed. Not a bad player. Garlabo, I think, is eligible. If we lose him, we'll sleep over it. Ponce is not. And then I think we're... Me Who was the other guy? So, A potentials, but they're not, like, good A potentials. Like, they're 24 years old, or Atsuka's 28. I mean, yeah, we might lose, like, Pedro Diaz I might want to keep. Eh. If I can. Okay, we kept him. So, yeah, the rest of those guys, like, yeah. It, I mean, we're just, it's a legit problem we have. But, see what happens. Jose Castillo, I think, was a former reliever, uh, reliever of ours to the Dodgers. Alcon Al Alcantara, or Alcantara, it's time to the Cardinals. Also, Detroit claimed our backup catcher. Mascara got claimed. Okay. So, yeah, you know what? That at least saves us some money. Swaggerty's going to the Royals. Dakota Hudson's a Yankee. Willie Calhoun. Oh, crap. Yankees are making moves. Mackenzie Gore is a National. Bobby Bradley's a Cardinal. Jay Groom is a Twin. Riley Pint is a Brave. Christian Pache is a Padre. Carlos Tosi or Tossi is a twin. Twins are making moves. Willie Adamas is a Padre. Padres are making moves too. It's like the same couple teams. All right. Um, what is our budget? We're pretty negative. However, arbitration's all been done. Oh, maybe not. Did we sign our guys or did we lose them? Nito or Nieto signed. Nito, I think, signed. Who's the other guy? Taylor was the other guy. He did sign. All right. So we need to. Um, this is the only guy who's on this, and if we lose him, it's not going to lose sleep. All right. So, Nito. Trading him. That's $4 million. How about relievers? Taylor's making a lot, but he's good. But Bourbon, it's in the final for his deal. Simmons is cheap. Donaldson's cheap. Okay. That's fine. So, let's find a new first baseman. And if he hasn't signed yet, we can maybe come back to it. Holy cow, Jake Bowers. So Bobby Bradley just signed. Very good year last year. 33 home runs, a 290 average. Damn. And I, I might even not even look at the... I want to look at their attributes. We just... I want a guy who can hit. Greg Bird. <laughs> Man, he's going to decline so much. I see the power. I like the power. power. Nick Prado, speaking of power... Now, if I put him and Burkett, they can't do it because they're taking on too much money. All right. Pedro Almanzar. Ooh. Wow. 98 bunt. That's a weird in, uh, attribute. They do the deal. He's 29. He's first year of playing time. His durability and fielding is trash, though, so I'll come back. I don't love it. All right, let's see what else is out there. Nathaniel Lowe. Good fielding and durability. Good power versus right. Can hit right-handed pitching. He's been really consistent for a long time. Final year of his deal. Now, if they will take Burkett's contract. Oh, they love this. Crap. Um, I'm trying to think of what we could do. We can get maybe someone back in a trade. But they probably don't have many prospects I would really want. Ooh. I, that's actually an interesting guy. Ray Shields. So I think I'll do that. And we can get another closer. I'll take another closer. Why not? So we give up Burkett. We give up Nito. That's $9.6 million. My face is blocking it. But it's $9.6 million we're saving. Or we're giving back. We get a first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe, who you can argue is relatively the same as Nito. But he's going to be a free agent at the end of the year. And then we'll figure out after that. Nito has got two years under this contract. Who's a really good player. I like him. But this is... And Burkett's solid. But our rotation will still be Castilla, Hashimoto, Lim, Juarez. And we have Ramirez. And we have, like, Quailer, and Cat. Like, we have so many guys so that are cheap. Paying $5 million, I think we can replace what he's doing. So... That we get a couple of prospects. We save $4.9 million. Let's do that. Perfect. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else we need to do for money. Um, O'Leary's cheap. 
Yeah. I oh, I will trade Lockwood. He has so much value. I'll wait till the off the end of the off season and see what the top prospects are and see if I love anyone. Let's do that. Um, other than that, I think our coaches are good. Yep. Who's our our manager? Bryce Rowe. He is going to be like a Hall of Famer because he keeps winning titles. Okay, I'll fix that. All right, we'll lease you. Lease you. Lease you. And use. Okay, we did arbitration. Cool. Garrett Hampson, who has great speed, who's a Rocky in real life. Going to the Mariners. J.B. Bukakis. Uh, is going to the Mets. Michael Chavis, former Red Sox, well, current Red Sox prospect, going to the Cubs. Christian Arroyo, uh, going to the Angels. Brent Honeywell, going to the Mets. Tanner Houck, for, current Red Sox prospect, going to the Nats. Rule 5 draft, um, see if any of our guys get taken. I'm just going to skip. I haven't seen any of them, so if we keep them, that's a, that's a nice little bonus. Um, round 3, no one's going to take them. Excellent. All right, we can finish the offseason. Blake Tran for Ramon Pena. Wow, 88 for an 86 overall. And then he got instantly traded for Jordan Hicks and Mario Carrasco. Anthony Alford got traded for Alcantara, just signed a free agent, got traded. Justin Dunn, Mets prospect, BC product, went to the Indians. Uh, Tanner Machado, Shane Biber, going to the Indians. Luis Brinson, Indians. Rio Ruiz is a uh, White Sox. And all right, so let's go to uh, spring training. So now I kind of want to, um, what is our budget? We're negative four. Oh, damn. So top prospects, we have the number four, five, six, and seven. Now, race is in the bigs. Feliz is going to be in the bigs. Uh, ooh, he's 23. Who's like someone young? Rod Jones is really young as a starter. Could I prime him from the uh, Rockies? I think I can. Or I can get a guy like, ooh, his fielding's terrible, but I'm intrigued by Scotty Steele. Great name. It's like a superhero name. Let me go try to get Rod Jones for, our, hang on. Let's see if they're interested in this. Let's go to the Rockies. Let's go to find Jones. Ton of value. They love him. But Lockwood has a ton of value, and that almost gets the deal done. Now, I'm okay with trading him. He's a good player. But we have Feliz. I like more. Um, is there a contract I can maybe trade? I might have to trade Ruiz, Ruiz excuse me. And maybe we just go with uh, Benitez at catcher this year. I, I might just do that. But let's uh, let's first figure out this trade. There we go. Nap gets the deal done. Now, let's see. If I trade Ruiz, what can we get for him? Only a couple teams. But I think our money is fine. It's negative 300000 but I think we're fine to sign for each. Look at that, though. We have $56 million in next year. I mean, this offseason, we have... So Delgado is a free agent, too. Crap. <laughs> Bruno, Vlad, Ruiz, Delgado, Archie Bradley, Nathaniel Lowe, Bourbon, Silva's arbitration, Hashimoto, Tom Lim's arbitration. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. Um, let's go to the regular season. Lineup O'Leary leadoff? No. I want Bruno, then Brennan, then Vlad. And I might put O'Leary. Now let's put uh I might put Delgadio fourth, then Ruiz, Silva. No, let's put Low O'Leary Silva and then Feliz. Brooke Ka is actually the I don't want Brooke Ka to be the backup. Um, let's have. I guess just Garcia. Uh, I don't think we can sign a free agent. Do we have a guy who's a first baseman who can play catcher as well? Not really. I don't want Dominguez in the bigs. So I like both. Oh, we have too many people here. I want Archie Bradley to be the closer. Even though he's not the best player anymore, I don't care. 
Um, so in the Reyes is actually in the minors, but I mean, you have so many good. Just get this. I only want one kind of long. In the long, uh, my end. All right. Castillo's 36 stamina. That's actually not too bad. I might leave this as is. Castillo, Hashimoto, Ramirez, Lim, Horace. Yeah, I'll put Lim 5. So we need a backup catcher, so I'm going to send down probably Stoddard, unless he can somehow play catcher. Nope, so I'll send him down. And I'll just call up, um... I guess Garcia. I'm just thinking because I want Benitez and Kata to play every day. And so I guess we're going to just... Garcia's just not going to play every day. It is what it is. Alright, um, so let's get this lineup all set. Feliz probably has to go it short. There we go. Alright, let's get this fixed, and then we'll finish off the video. We'll take a look at all the top prospects where we all rank at all of them, and um, then we will uh, look to see what we're ranked. And I do want to check one other thing, too, kind of like how we built the team. It's always, like I guess I always have fun looking back at it. Alright, one more lineup to do. There we go. So, let's take a look at standings. We're the number one team. Eighth in power, eighth in defense, but first in everything else. That's really good. Um... If you look at top prospects, we have the number one prospect. We have the number four, who's in the majors. The number five, who's almost in the majors. Number six, who could be in the majors. Number eight, who is not ready, but it's getting there. So we have one, four, five, six, and eight. We have number 17, who's 25. I'm not too high on them. We have number 22 in Monroe, who maybe will turn into something. We'll see. We have number 29 with uh, Messias, who could be a first baseman next year. He might, if he has a good year and he improves. I like the power and I like the durability. We'll see. Castilla, another closer. He's at 32. Masters, we drafted last year. He's at 35. Pedro Diaz, who's at 38. He's only a B potential. Calhoun, I don't love him. He's 24 years old, 58 overall. He's at 45. And that's it. So let's just take a look real quick. Um... Video is no, it's not too too long. Kind of where we got some of our players. So O'Leary was a seventh or a seventh pick in the draft. How did we get Feliz? We drafted him in the third round or our third pick in 2024. We also got Castillo, a closer who's an 84 overall on the team. So we had him as an outfielder. We moved him to short because that was a secondary position. So that's pretty good. Tom Lynn was a seventh round pick. I love seeing these late round picks. Like Simmons was our fifth pick. He's an 88 overall reliever. Like, that's great. O'Leary looks to be a stud in the making. He was our seventh pick in 2020. Like, that's awesome. I love seeing that. And then the legend himself, Bruno. At least fun to see how he does this year. Uh, yeah, we'll try to have another good regular season. Could we maybe break a record of some sorts in the regular season? I don't know. We'll find the next one, guys. I'll see you then. Take it easy. Peace.